Now, Allison Reynolds is 46 years old, and uh, she is not like any other uh, mother of four that I know. Uh, I'll tell you that. She's headed out on an epic adventure next week, cross-country skiing across Norway through the Arctic wilderness to raise awareness for her teenage daughter's genetic condition, one that prevents her from eating normal food like steak or seafood or even pizza because it could damage her brain. A mother's love can move mountains and more. Just look at Allison Reynolds. My friends and family think it's a little bit crazy, a little bit cool. For the past year now, she's been hauling 80-pound tires along the CNO Canal towpath for hours at a time. It will take a moment to explain why she's doing this for science and for her daughter. Growing up, I always had the notion that food is literally toxic for me, so I'd always dread my meals, especially in public with other kids during school. Allison's daughter, Tia, has phenylketonuria, or PKU, a rare genetic disorder where food is essentially toxic to the brain because a person's liver can't process protein. For most of her life, 17-year-old Tia Pizzioli has relied on medical formula and vegetables to survive. Breaking that diet could lead to irreversible brain damage and seizures. A lot of self-discipline because I'd always want to like cheat and try new foods. Keeping Tia healthy is time consuming and expensive. Cooking, the weighing, the measuring, securing the formula takes about three hours a day to manage PKU. Tia's formula costs $140 a day. Through the years, Allison has held fundraisers for PKU research. She's raised upwards of $7 million. Then in 2018, a big turning point with an FDA-approved drug that allows people with PKU to eat foods that were once strictly off-limits. I started with pasta, then pizza, then mac and cheese. Eventually, I tried meat for the first time. Now I'm eating bacon like every day. It's one of my favorite things. Tia's family raised the money to fund development of the drug that she's now taking, and they're not stopping there. Allison wanted to do something different this year to raise awareness about PKU while paying tribute to the Norwegian researcher who discovered the disease in the 1930s. It sort of hit me like a flash in one moment. I should honor his legacy by doing something I love, cross-country skiing across his country. To do that, she'll spend nine days cross-country skiing across Norway, trekking 15 miles each day in the snow and sub-zero temperatures hauling a 90-pound sled with all of her supplies and equipment. Her training is something you'd expect from an Olympian. Nine miles of running, followed by two hours of spin, and then go to the gym for an hour. A test of her mental and physical endurance for the challenge that's ahead. Might pull tires for three hours and then go to the gym for an hour. It really varies. I've tried to mix it up, so I'm not pounding my body in the same way. Allison's pushing herself to new limits until science can catch up and find a cure for her daughter's disease. She always told me, like, oh, well, the endurance I have to have during this is nothing compared to the endurance you had for those 17 years where you had to stay on diet. Allison mm. and her guide will wrap up their trek across Norway on February 29th, which is International Rare Disease Day. Tia and other family will join Allison on the final day. They'll ski that last leg of the trip with her. Aww. There are about 16,000 Americans living with PKU today. Allison has raised close to a million dollars this time for research ahead of her trip to wow. Norway. If you want to follow her expedition or make a donation, head to our website. We've posted a link with more information. Wow. That is what just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. She could be an Olympian. She, well, she, she, you're right. She, she could be an Olympian. Uh, I know a lot of people probably worry how she gonna, how she, is she going to be okay doing this. Um, I understand she's got a great insurance policy. She's traveling with a guide. <laughs> they have a satellite phone. There's an insurance policy involved, uh, and the, there's a, a involving a helicopter that will come in and get them out of wow. there yeah. uh, if they get into trouble. But uh, she is amazing. And what a tremendous cause. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. Much Doing so. that to raise all that money. Yeah. Yes, there, there's, a, there's a drug now. Uh, she, yeah. wants, she wants a cure. Yeah. 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 So glad that her daughter can eat pizza and uh, bacon. And, and bacon. Uh, and bacon. Uh, <laughs> and bacon. Uh, could you, can you imagine having to wait until you're oh, really 20 to eat bacon? bacon? <laughs>